20 on that play. First and 10 at the 29. Wolfel hangs on the ball, just barely gets to the 30. No running room at all. Anthony Carter is the guy that Carolina is very concerned about as we take a look at the first down pass. He runs straight down the field. They're giving him plenty of cushion because they know what a threat he is deep. Then Anthony just cuts it outside, comes back towards the ball, makes the good catch, inbounds. Michigan makes the big play on the first down with Anthony Carter getting uh, a big reception. Second and eight, Michigan from their 30. Wolfold cuts back, finds a little opening, maybe the 34-yard line, tackled by Bill Ellis, number 80. About, well, an even first quarter. South Carolina completing a pass for 16 yards. Michigan, no completions. Yards rushing, about the same. Totals, just the difference in that one pass completion as both teams moved the ball pretty well. Michigan with a great threat at the one-yard line after the fumble, but did not score. Third and four. Wangler, the throw for Mitchell, two five. Michigan was forced to punt, so we move ahead to action later in the quarter. At the Michigan 34, first down, South Carolina. To the air again, Harper. Got his man, Gillespie. Out of bounds, body pushed him out, but it's at the 21, and that's another first down. I think maybe a little too much cushion on the play by Marion Body. It's a straight drop back. They run a tight end underneath to pull the linebacker out from underneath the coverage and then run the wide receiver out there. You can see Body coming up, but he's about a step and a half late as the catch is made. Michigan had one good chance in the first quarter, getting to the one-yard line before a couple of fumbles stalled their drive. Carolina on the move now. First down for Michigan, 21. Back to Rogers. Good tackle by Mel Owens. He still got a couple of yards, but Mel Owens and Tony Kelsey combined to knock Rogers off his feet. Mel Owens is having a great day this afternoon. He's already had Rogers one-on-one -on -one a couple of times and brought him down, and that in itself is a great day. Owens was last week's champion of the week for Michigan against Notre Dame, breaking up the pass. Good football player, one of the steady linebackers in Michigan's defense. Second and seven, but it's at the 19-yard line of Michigan. Same kind of motion, and this time they come left. Rodgers cuts back beautifully. Rolls past a couple of defenders, and finally is called down by Marion Body. Inside the 10, first down Carolina at the Michigan 9. Talk about a guy that's this big, 6'2", 220 pounds, stops on a dime. You think he's a fullback. Watch this. Stops right here. Tackle overruns him. That's Cohen. And then he just runs, shows his quickness and shows his elusiveness as he gives a limp like the one guy and rolls to get about three more. First and goal at the nine. You start watching him and thinking Franco Harris and Earl Campbell and people like that. That's a fact. Option play. Johnny Wright knocked off his feet. No game. Gergash and Owens are there, and Diggs came up quickly to help seal that play. Wasn't in on the final hit, but made it happen earlier. Second down, and still nine yards to go. The Michigan defense coming up with a big play there. But you gotta watch his quarterback throw, too. Horace Smith splits out to the right. And, of course, tight end Willie Scott has been his target. He is the throw on second and nine. Scott has the roll. Jeff Cohen and Harry and Body were back, and that was almost six. I think the ball should have been caught. I think the ball should have been caught by Larry, uh, Willie Scott. This is the same pattern they've run all game long. As a matter of fact, I only think they've run one, one pattern. They run the wide receiver out underneath, and the tight end will go a little bit deeper and make an outcut. This time he's in the corner of the end zone. Now the ball is thrown maybe a little bit behind him, but Willie Scott's a good enough receiver. He should have caught this. Hits him right in the hand. Tried to close on it a little too early. Third down and nine from the nine. Go again. Same play. 
Another throw. Once again, Larry, the same pass pattern. Uh, just two men, re two receivers out. Both of them go out about, one goes seven, one goes about 12, and they run out cut. That time, Michigan is trying to hold them up on the line of scrimmage. So far, it's worked. Eddie Leppard is the kicker for South Carolina. He is three for three in field goal attempts this year. This one will be from the 16-yard line or 26 yards in length, and it is easily good enough as South Carolina jumps out to a 3-0 lead midway through the second quarter. Sixteen plays going 74 yards. Finally at the nine, they started trying to throw it instead of giving it to George Rogers. And Carolina gets a field goal. John Tanner forward to kick off to Stan Edwards and Anthony Carter. And Anthony won't have a chance on that one as it's right through the back of the end zone and out. First and ten Michigan at their own 20-yard line. and Wolfolk in the backfield. Carter and Mitchell split out right and left. Wolfolk has to dodge a linebacker in the backfield and is hauled down by Ed Baxley when he gets maybe two yards. Lawrence Rick coming into the ball game, Larry, to replace Butch Wolfolk as Bo again shuttles in his tailback. First appearance for Ricks this afternoon. As Butch Wolfolk started, played well until fumbling that pitch at the two-yard line. Second and eight. Wangler. Jumps in. Complete to Norm Betts. Betts has it near the 30-yard line. That should be a first down. Betts is second on the team in receiving. Four catches for 31 yards and a touchdown. And this is Michigan's patent pattern with the tight end. He comes across the field underneath the linebackers. Wangler throws that pass about as well as anybody, and that just takes a dive over the tackle over the 30 for the first down. First and 10. Pitches back to Rick, and he's got a team. Gets five, maybe six yards before he is hauled down. Phil Ellis. And Ed Baxley over to stop Lawrence Ricks. And Ricks is signaling that there's something wrong equipment-wise, so Wolfo comes back in. Ricks gets the hole, first of all. Here comes Ingram across and blocking through the hole. And there's also Big Ed Moransky, number 72. So Michigan got some good blocks for Lawrence Ricks as he picks up seven. Second down and three. Ingram and Wolfo now the combination behind Wangler. There's your first down. Out of bounds about the 48 or 9 yard line. Mark Bridges pushed Wolfolk out of bounds, but it's first down Michigan. Been a nice to have two backs like Ricks and Wolfolk. You can go with either of them. Both of them have great quickness. Both of them have good power. There's the guard pull. He gets through the hole. Butch just outruns this guy that comes through on the, on the inside. That's number 59, Walt Cater. And then Butch just turns on the speed. He is a Big Ten sprint champion, and he gets to the corner, turns it upfield, and lowers the left shoulder, inside shoulder, and runs through a tackle to get a couple more. That's the 48-yard line in Michigan, first and 10. Wolfolk, up this time. Linebacker got through on top of him. That is Ed Baxley. He did a great job. Actually, from St. Petersburg, Florida, 6'2", two, two and a quarter senior. He Baxley. reads this well and does a great job. Well, that's just, you know, you play with your basic reckless abandon. There were two people down in front of him blocking, and he just ran right over the top of him, took a leap over the tackles, and managed to get a hand on Wolfolk, and he was the guy that stopped him. Makes it second and nine. Wangler to throw. No, a little reverse. Anthony Collins. 
But Carter is spun out of bounds by Phil Ellis as they read that very well. They have seen that one and were ready for it. Wangler out in front looking to block a little bit for Anthony, but I'll tell you, the problem was is that they just had too many people out there. They didn't fool anybody. One of the keys to the backside end on a play is make sure there is no reverse coming before you release and go in pursuit. This time, Anthony looks out there, and he's looking for a hole, but they just feather it out. Phil Ellis is the guy who comes on over, beats the block from Wangler, and throws him out of bounds. Third down and still nine yards to go. Ingram and Wolfolk. Wangler to throw. Mitchell out of bounds, first down. He caught it right at the 32-yard line and stepped out. Beautiful execution. Perlote was there, but there was not much you could do against as well thrown as that ball was. Not only was the ball well thrown, but there was great protection for John Wangler. They came with the blitz. Butch Wolfolk picked up the blitzing linebacker. Wangler had the time. Mitchell ran a good cut. The ball thrown right on the sideline. He just stepped on uh, inbounds and took one step out of bounds. Beautifully executed play. At the South Carolina 32, it is first and 10, Michigan. Wolfolk. Inside the 35-yard line. Pat Bowen made the tackle. Kurt Becker leading that play, doing a good job of clearing people out of the way for Butch Wolfolk. The key to the Kurt Becker block, watch 65. He will sustain it. Wolfolk takes the ball. Now watch Becker. He stays with this guy. It's the linebacker. He'll stay with him, keep him tied up. Butch sees the hole, open up inside. He cuts it back in there for good yardage. Credit Becker with a great block. Credit Wolfolk with good decision. Second down and one. Gain of nine on that play. Wangler looking for all of it. Miller at the five-yard line. Run down by Harry Skipper, but make it the six. It'll be first down Michigan at the South Carolina six. Once again, great protection. Watch 24 Wolfolk. He'll pick up the blitzer. Now he's got a lot of time. Anthony is tough to cover one on one, and that's what they've got. Ball a little bit underthrown, but Anthony comes back to catch it. Michigan inside the South Carolina 10. Of course, they have been this deep before in the first quarter, and a couple of fumbles kept them from putting points on the board. We'll see what happens this time on a first down and goal from the six. Wolfolk and Wagner collide, and they lose a yard. Maybe two. Second and eight. We talked. We talked about it the last time they were down close. You cannot make these critical mistakes down close. Looks like Butch and John don't know which side that he's going to go. If Wolfolk could have managed to get outside of Hal Henderson there, he could have probably got to the corner of the end zone. But the play was doomed when they ran into each other. Ricks replaces Wolfolk in the backfield, giving Langler the play on this second and nine. He lost three on that play. Anthony Carter with a little cut out to the corner, and he was there. He's double covered on this play, and again, Wangler gets good protection, but he throws the ball beautifully over the linebacker and in front of the deep back. Anthony, one of the best athletes on Michigan's team, go up in between the two to make the catch. Ali Haji Sheik with his first conversion attempt of the afternoon. Gilbert spots it. It's good. And with 2.54 left to play in the half, Michigan goes in front, 7-3 over South Carolina. Sheik teeing it up to kick it off, and he'll be sending it back to Terry Bishop, Horace Smith, and or Percy Reeves. Those are the three deep men with Horace Smith in the middle for South Carolina. This kick into the win a little bit. Bishop has it. Up over the 20-yard line before he is rolled down. South Carolina was unable to move the football, so let's pick up the action later in the quarter.
First down, Michigan at their own 32. John Wenger has quarterback all the way so far. Lawrence Wick. Furlow and Henderson combined to bring him down, but it's up near the 50 at the 48-yard line. Michigan in their hurry-up offense as we take a look at the play. Ricks gets the hole right up the middle. Good blocking, and Larry just breaks it in there. First down, they've snapped it again. Wangler passing complete to Norm Beck. Out of bounds, and that is about nine, maybe ten yards. Same pattern coming across the middle. The tight end starts to the field side of the play. Just runs underneath the linebackers and across the field. That time Wangler showed you the strength of his arm as he was being hauled down when he got that one off. Dunaway checks into the huddle with a play. That was a first and down. A minute, first and ten now. What was that? <laughs> first and down, yeah. A minute and four left in the half. Michigan in South Carolina territory at the 42. Wangler for Carter. The first and out of bounds. Anthony Carter can catch the ball anywhere, even out of bounds. That time the defender had him well covered, and Anthony runs a straight fly pattern. They figure with a minute and four left and first down, you know, it doesn't hurt. He runs a straight fly down the down the sideline. Ball is thrown over the outside shoulder where it should be thrown. But watch Anthony. The defender has the ball, and he puts a hand right up there, and Anthony just catches it like it's no problem. He's just an outstanding little receiver. Second and ten. Still at the 42 of Carolina. They go back with Rick through the middle. Linebacker fought that block off, however, and stacked the play up. <laughs> 51 seconds till halftime for John Wangler. He has Ingram and Ritz behind him. Mitchell and Carter are split out. Ritz to Mitchell. Trying to jump at the bets. Instead, it's incomplete. Make it fourth down and six yards to go. Into the wind. This would be an awfully long field goal. 46 seconds left till halftime. It appears Michigan will take one more shot at the first down, or maybe all of it. Craig Dunaway has the answer, and he takes it into the huddle to John Wangler, replacing Norm Betts at tight end. Carter comes out wide right, Mitchell split left. Wangler picks Larry Ricks as they look for the first down. Ricks gets it down the sideline, out of bounds. 20 seven-yard line. Lawrence Ricks with excellent speed gets the first down and stops the clock with 39 seconds left in the half. That's just a great run, Larry. Rick leads the team in rushing with 21 carries and 152 yards into this game, and here it's all on his own. He just uses his speed to get outside and watch this agility to tiptoe down inside the sideline and get the first down and, importantly, step out of bounds to stop the clock with 39 seconds left. First and ten for Wangler and the Michigan Wolverines. They lead seven to three. Looking for Mitchell. No chance to get that one away. Hal Henderson leading the rush of a strong South Carolina defensive line. and 16 now at the Carolina 33-yard line. Fake is to Ricks as Wangler looks. Down by the 11-yard line. Mitchell is blocked by Perlow. But that is down for a first down. Alan Mitchell, an all-Catholic League performer in high school from Detroit Catholic Central, Makes a great pattern here. He sees the defenders and he just kind of tippy toes into the middle of three people. They have a first down, but they have only 18 seconds to do something with it. Quick pass, sideline. Out of bounds at the three. 
Yeah, but he almost turned it back inside for the puck and then went outside when they're starting to make the tackle. This shows you the ability of this young athlete. You don't want to go inside on the play because you want the clock to stop. But Anthony takes an inside go and then heads right to the sideline, thinking he might have been able to sneak it into the corner. He saw the other guy come over, and he gets out of bounds. Not only is he an incredible good athlete, but he also is smart. He knows what's happening over here. He says, I'm running out of bounds. Second and one at the three for Michigan. Ricks goes out to the left. Carter goes in motion. Wangler looking for Carter. Got him, touchdown. Nobody covering Anthony Carter. He went in motion and fooled the South Carolina defender. First time they've seen the formation for South Carolina. Not a trick play, but what they do is send Ricks over there to the left side in a slot position. Anthony comes across the formation to give it trip receivers on one side. There is nobody to cover Anthony in the flat. Wangler just lays it out there, and Anthony's in all alone. Touchdown, Michigan. Sheik will attempt the extra point. It is up and good. And Michigan leads 14 to 3 with only five seconds left in the half. Anthony Carter catches his second touchdown of the game, and they put everybody inside, lured the defense inside with two other receivers out to the left. Carter came in for, uh, motion across the formation. There was nobody there to cover. As Larry said to me, he's tough enough to cover one on one or two on one. Boy, when you get him none on one, forget it. Just a game of catch, and they do that in practice all the time. 11 touchdown catches for Anthony Carter in his brief career here at Michigan, which already puts him third on the all-time list for touchdown pass reception. And remember, he's not even into a season and a half yet. Boy, this guy could be something. Sheik will see if he can waste five seconds with a ground ball, as a matter of fact. Bouncing around past everyone. It is covered by Perlow down around the five-yard line, right on the five. No, Horace Smith, rather. And three of the five seconds ticked off the clock. There you have it. Ten plays to go 68 yards, and it's Carter to Wangler again. That has accounted for both Michigan touchdowns. Oh, Wangler to Carter. <laughs> That passed backwards. Yeah, but Anthony can throw it. <laughs> too. That's right. He did last year in the Gator Bowl. But he did. One play left in the half, and they'll be conservative, I imagine, from their own five-yard line. First and ten, Carolina. Harper just sneaks ahead for a couple of yards, which will show up on the stat sheet, but mean very little else. The gun ends the first half with Michigan leading South Carolina 14-3. Statistically, Jim, the, the figures showing just about what we expected. Carolina can run the ball, but Michigan can pass on Carolina. Absolutely. I think the key to the whole thing is the fact that Michigan defensively has really kept Carolina from rushing too much. George Rogers has some good yardage, but as you can see, uh, Carolina only has 90 yards rushing. Now, George Rogers usually has that in the first half by himself. Michigan, the key, though, passing. They've gone with 114 yards. Wangler has been outstanding, going 9 of 12. And uh, first down's even. Uh, the turnover's even at one. Michigan's turnover on the goal line probably might have been a 21-3 ball game had they held on to the football and gotten in the first time. Passing the difference in the two touchdowns, too, as Carter hit Wangler. Wangler hit Carter twice. <laughs> You're going to figure that out before we get done today. You can see Anthony on the first touchdown makes a great pattern. He shields the defender from uh, him and back of him, and Wangler puts it in there between the front man and the back man for a touchdown on the first one. The second one is just a great call. They run Anthony across the formation in motion, and there are two receivers out there to that side already, and Anthony runs into the flat, and he's all alone. And at this point, Michigan's up 14-3, to three, and there's only five seconds left to the first half, which means going into the second half, now the Wolverines, I think, will come up with great momentum. And we're ready to go into the second half now. Both teams on the field. Anthony Carter, the deep man to receive for Michigan, standing behind Stan Edwards. Michigan's effort to hide him. John Tanner, the kickoff specialist for South Carolina, moves forward. The wind is at Tanner's back, and he hits a line drive that skips at the 10-yard line, bounces through the end zone. It'll be Michigan first and 10 at their own 20. After a turnover, we pick up the action later in the quarter with South Carolina in possession. First and 10 now at the Michigan 46-yard line. Harper 
third to go. Tony Jackson knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line, and a penalty flag is down. Johnny Wright finally tackled Tony Jackson, but not before the junior from Cleveland had given Michigan a chance. Ooh. Penalty on the play, Larry. It'll be holding defensively against the Wolverines, and what happened was Andy Canavino playing linebacker had coverage on George Rogers. When he came to the line of scrimmage, Andy tackled him. Just flat out dead tackled him right in front of the referee. And that will ruin a good interception. Canavino here now you'll see the play coming he sees Rogers coming out he says I'm gonna stop him he can't get by me now that is a classic case of defensive holding the result a first down for Carolina at the Michigan 41 the Gamecocks keep this drive going and come at you he is hit and driven back by Calvin Rose the freshman, or Thompson, Robert Thompson, 99. What a big play by Thompson. That is about the first time anyone has handled Rodgers one-on-one. -on -one. I'll tell you, Robert Thompson must have come up there and said, uh-oh, I'm all alone, I got this big guy. But I'll tell you what, he sticks the head right on the numbers, holds on for dear life, and makes the solo tackle on George Rodgers. And, Larry, that doesn't happen often. Second down at 11 for Carolina. At the Michigan 42. Harper on the screen to Rogers, and he fell at the 45. Upset George Rogers. He thought he could have had some running room. And he would have had because Michigan was in the blitz, and there was nobody out there. The reason that uh, the pass was thrown poorly and Rogers couldn't catch it was because the blitz was coming, but it hit him in the hands, and he stumbles and goes down. Here's the blitz from Canavino coming in. He's picked up, but that leaves the end free, and he forced the pass early, and then Rodgers just couldn't hold on, and Canavino is right there. Third down and 14. Obviously a throwing situation for Carolina. They want this drive to keep going. They go deep. Complete. There's the first down as they hit Horace Smith. Although he was surrounded by Michigan defenders and finally tackled by body, Horace Smith got open for the first down at the Michigan 22-yard line. Marion Body, who's covering on the outside, actually slips on the turf. You can see him behind. He slips and has just gotten up, but Smith has already made the cut and is in the secondary for the first down. Big, big third down conversion for Carolina. 2.33 left in the third quarter. Michigan 14, Carolina 3. Harper fumbles the exchange, and there goes a down and a couple of yards. Critical mistakes when you're down close kill you, and that's one of those things that happened. Michigan has fumbled twice on the goal line when they were driving to get in, and now Carolina has caught the fumbleitis from the Wolverines. Second down and 12 as the ball goes back to the 24 of Michigan. The wind at Carolina's back in this quarter. Harper going to use it to throw. Complete. Body takes his man out of bounds. Horace Smith, the 10 yard line. But Horace, the fine flanker, junior from Thomasville, Georgia, is getting open. Caught him in the blitz once again as Michigan came with about seven people up front. That left one on one coverage. Smith runs a very quick out pattern. Marion Body is on the coverage, but he's wide open. Smith is a freshman, caught an 80 yard touchdown pass to beat Ole Miss. That was last year. He's in his sophomore season, and he's a good one. First and goal at the nine. They were here before, tried to throw the ball. This time it's George Rogers, down with two. Oh, he is a load when he gets down near the goal line, huh? He just comes at you. Second and goal from the two yard line. Car Carolina missed a couple of passes last time and it wound up kicking a field goal. This time they said, we're coming at you with our ace. And boy, does he run. He is always leaning forward. The senior from Duluth, Georgia, George Rogers, gets the call at the two and gets the touchdown. South Carolina narrows the gap. When you're that close and you've got George Rogers, it's awfully difficult to stop him. 
surprised they didn't do it last time from the nine yard line. His Very surprised. Sixth touchdown of the year. Simple play. They just block it straight ahead. And George Rogers steps over a couple people and powers in. Eddie Leppard with a field goal to his credit. He's 16 for 16 on conversion. Make it 17 for 17. And the score with a minute 21 left in the third quarter. Michigan 14, South Carolina 10. Excellent scoring drive for Carolina. 88 yards, 15 back plays. Up, back up. As John Tanner puts a foot to it and sends one deep through the end zone. No chance for Carter to run it back. Michigan takes over first and 10 at their own 20. And Anthony Carter has not been able to get the ball either on a punt or a kickoff to return the football. Of course, he's so super when he gets that ball and he gets it on a punt or a kickoff. Last week against Notre Dame almost broke one for the distance. Wangler, Ingram, and Ricks, the I formation for Michigan. As they start a drive, and Ingram gets the call, and a little gap, splitting it up to the 28-yard line before Furloat can stop him. Gerald Ingram with a gain of eight yards. Stanley Edwards fumbled last time he carried North Carolina, turned that turnover into a touchdown to make it 14-10. Now, Gerald Ingram is the fullback, and he is taking care of business at fullback position. I guess Bo figures we want both hands on the football and Ingram will do it for me. That's South Carolina. Second and two. Ingram again. No place to go this time. Emmanuel Weaver jumped through. Andrew Province, number 70, was there. But the middle guard shed his block and had his arms wrapped around Ingram before he could get to the line of scrimmage. Third and a yard. Before today, Ingram had just carried three times. He has 11 yards. He'll get a little more work, I think, here in the second half. Norm Betts comes in, replacing Alan Mitchell. Anthony Carter splits wide out to the right. Everyone else is in fight on a third and one. Ingram bangs into the line, gets it very near the 30-yard line. I think I would say he has the first down, but I imagine they'll probably measure it. South Carolina players jumping up and down saying they've got a little more to go. And time runs out on the clock, ending the third quarter of this game with the score, Michigan 14 and South Carolina 10. The decision is fourth down. Michigan did not make it on the Gerald Ingram carry, and so they open the fourth quarter with Don Bracken in the punt on fourth down. The ball just short of the 30-yard line, which is what they needed to get to to make a first down. Bracken stands at his own 15. Snap is short to Stanley Edwards. Trying to sweep, and he did not get the first down. Michigan trying to run on fourth down, and Stanley Edwards is trapped, and Carolina takes over at the Michigan 29. Gambling Michigan team is foiled as Carolina quickly got to the outside and they have a big break after having pulled it within four points just moments ago. First down, Gamecocks, Michigan 29. Harper, Wright, and Rogers in a line. Rogers to the short side of the field. Gets an opening out of bounds at the 22. Big punt is a big gamble to take because you give George Rogers a chance to get the ball inside the 30-yard line in your own 30, and I'll tell you what, this guy can move. You see there, makes about three good moves as he turns the corner and picks up eight. It's the 21-yard line, second and two, Carolina. Rogers through the middle, met and nailed at the 20-yard line. That'll be short of the first down. Robert Thompson, one of the hitters. Turgovac. 
also there. But Robert Thompson, the man who stopped him from getting to the first down marker, third and one. Michigan's defense sorely tested at this point when the fake punt didn't work. Horace Smith split wide right on a third and one. Everyone looking for Rodgers. Instead, it's Johnny Wright for the first down to the Michigan 16-yard line. Go back Johnny Wright that time. Carolina threatening as the fourth quarter begins. 13-41 left to play in the game. It's 14-10 Michigan. Tim Gillespie, the flanker black, back to the right. First down, pitch to Rodgers. Hurdles the pile and goes inside the 15. To the Michigan 12. Got four, second and six, second and seven. Got to figure they're going to come at you with a big guy from now on. I don't think there's any question. 